What's good everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add shortcuts from SharePoint into your OneDrive. Now let's take a look at this document library I'm currently in. I've got two folders here in the, they're currently in the general channel, Contoso templates and training resources. Now let's say I wanted to have these folders quickly accessible to me in OneDrive instead of coming to SharePoint every time. So what I can do is simply click on that folder, right click uh, or click on the three dots and then select add shortcut to OneDrive. And that's it. Within OneDrive, if you click on my files, you'll see that shortcut there ready to go. So moving forward, you can simply just go to OneDrive and access all the files from here moving forward. You can even create files here and they will appear in SharePoint for everyone else to see. If you're like me and you like to keep your files and folders organized, you can move these shortcuts into other folders within your OneDrive. These shortcuts are also available in the OneDrive desktop app if you prefer. In fact, you can even keep these files and folders synced offline if you need to take this work on the go. Now, the benefit of doing this is that it allows you to only sync the folders you need from SharePoint. You no longer need to sync the entire document library. In fact, using shortcuts is considered to be the best practice by Microsoft moving forward. One last tip, not only can you create these shortcuts from the SharePoint document library, you can also create them in the OneDrive web app by going to the document libraries found under quick access. Once again, right click on the folder and select add shortcut to OneDrive. In Microsoft Teams, you can go to the files tab of any channel and do the same thing. Select the folder and select add shortcut to OneDrive. In fact, there's a little icon here that will also allow you to add shortcuts to OneDrive. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out our other videos on our channel for more Microsoft 365 tips, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.